Hi, Ben Moore here. Today I'm going to talk to you about vectors and scalars. Now these can sound like very complicated ideas, but you see over the course of this video that they're actually pretty simple concepts. First off, I'll give you the bare bones definition and then give you a bunch of examples. Vectors have both a magnitude and a direction. A scalar only has a magnitude. Don't worry if that sounds a little odd. It will make a lot more sense when I show you an example. Imagine that you have a car and drive it 50 kilometers down the road. If you don't tell me anything else about your journey, you just say you drove 50 kilometers, then that's the scalar quantity. You have a magnitude, distance in this case, but no direction. Now, if you said you drove 50 kilometers to the east, you have both a magnitude, 50 kilometers, and a direction, east. So now we have a vector quantity. When we talk about the change in position from one location to another, we call this displacement. Think of refugees. They're displaced from their homeland to hopefully a safe haven. OK, let's look at another example. Say that it took two and a half hours to drive the 50 kilometers. So the change in time was two and a half hours. Change in time equals two and a half hours. So we divide 50 kilometers by two and a half hours to give us 20 kilometers per hour. There is no direction given. We only know how fast the car is going, its speed. So this is the scalar quantity. If we said that the car had moved 50 kilometers in two and a half hours to the east, then it would be a vector quantity as it has a magnitude, 20 kilometers per hour, and a direction to the east. When both the speed and the direction are known, we call it velocity to distinguish it from speed. 